So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 20, if tan theta equals 2 thirds, then sine theta equals what? So let's do a little sketch. When it comes to trigonometry, we want to always draw our uh, unit circle. Well, it doesn't have to be the unit circle because it doesn't have to have radius 1, but it's still a, we're still going to look at the trig ratio. So if the tangent is 2 thirds, where is the tangent positive, first of all? Tangent's positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So we could be dealing with either of those two locations. So if it's the first quadrant, let's draw a triangle that would have a tangent of 2 thirds. This triangle would, right? We could have an opposite of 2 and an adjacent of 3. If it happens to be in the third quadrant, it might look something like this. That's pretty bad. How about that? That's a little better. So then this would be 2 and this would be 3. But of course, this is negative 3. Um, this would be negative 3 and this would be negative 2. So the tangent would still be positive regardless of if it was a first quadrant triangle or a third quadrant triangle. So theta could be this angle here or it could be this whole angle here. We don't really know. Um, in either case, whether the reference angle is the same because this, this reference angle here and this reference angle here are exactly the same. So in terms of finding the sine, we can just use Sokotoa. We can say sine equals opposite over hypotenuse. So for this triangle, if theta is here, then sine theta equals opposite, which is 2, over hypotenuse. What's the hypotenuse if the two legs of a right triangle are 2 and 3? We'd have to use Pythagorean theorem, right? 2 squared plus 3 squared equals hypotenuse squared. So that's 9 and 4, which is 13. So h is going to equal root 13. So that's the hypotenuse. So sine equals 2 over root 13, which equals, I put that in my calculator, I get 0.55. So the temptation is to pick C, but the value of the sine in the first quadrant is positive. The value of the sine in the third quadrant is negative. So either one of those could be viable solutions to this problem. So we actually have to choose A, plus or minus 0.55. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.